If you haven't done so yet, make sure that you pause the video and first try to answer the question on your own before listening on. In this question, we are asked to calculate the mass of the third isotope of magnesium. And the question gives us a little bit of a hint as to how to do that. It tells us to look up the atomic mass of magnesium. And so what we have here below is a cutout of the periodic table that should be present in your textbook. And we have highlighted magnesium. And we can see right here that the atomic mass of magnesium is equal to 24.3050. So we've written that atomic mass right here, and we have included the unit of the atomic mass, which is AMU, or atomic mass units. And it turns out that there is a connection between the atomic mass of magnesium and then the individual masses of the given isotopes. So we have an isotope right here, they've labeled magnesium 24, we have a second isotope right here, and then we have a third isotope that has an unknown mass. And of course that is our goal, is to find that mass. So we need to relate the atomic mass of magnesium to the individual masses of the three isotopes. And it turns out there is a nice relationship that can help us do that. So let's take a look. So this equation is actually equation number 2.1 from chapter 2. And it shows us that the atomic weight, or if you wish, atomic mass, the book will use these terms interchangeably. So the atomic weight, or the atomic mass of magnesium, is equal to the sum and we'll see what this means in a moment, of each isotope's mass multiplied by its fractional abundance. So what we're going to do on the left side of the equation is simply plug in the atomic mass of magnesium, which of course we looked up in the periodic table. And then on the right-hand side of the equation, what we'll do is we'll add up the masses of each isotope multiplied by their respective fractional abundance. So let's take a look at what that would be. We'll use parentheses around each isotope, and there will be three of them. So the first isotope mass that we were given was the mass of magnesium 24. So we'll take that mass of 23.985 AMU, and according to the equation, we're going to multiply that by its fractional isotope abundance. Now, we were told that that abundance was 78.99%, but of course we want to make sure we express that percent in decimal form. So we'll be sure to move that decimal point two places to the left. So that will give us 0.7899. And that would take care of the first isotope. Now remember that we are summing each of these isotopes, so we're going to use a plus sign right here and then we'll move on to the second isotope, which was magnesium 25. And we are told that that has a mass of 24.986 AMU. And we'll multiply that by its fractional abundance, which is 10%. Again, we'll move that decimal point over two places to the left, and that will give us 0.10 as its fractional abundance. And finally, continuing on in the formula, we'll have to put another plus sign in here. And we'll also have to come down here. Now, the mass of the third isotope is exactly what we're looking for. So we don't know that, and therefore we should call that x. Also, to get the fractional abundance, we have to remember that all three isotopes should add up to 100%. So we know that 100% is going to equal the sum of the individual abundances. Now the first isotope again had an abundance of 78.99%. The second had an abundance of 10%. And then the third, we'll call Y, we can actually figure out. So if we add up the 78.99 with 10, we're going to get, of course, 88.99%. And then what we'll do is simply subtract 88.99% from both sides of this equation. And this is going to help us figure out the fractional abundance of the third isotope. And we'll squeeze that in right here. So we're going to get 11.01% 11 
is going to be the fractional abundance of the third isotope. When we move that decimal place over two places to the left, we will end up with 0 0.1101. Okay, so now what we'll do is pick up our calculators and we will multiply these two numbers together and then also multiply these two numbers together. And then what we'll do is we'll add the two terms on the right hand side. These two numbers right here can be added. We can now subtract from both sides of this equation the 21.4443515 AMU. Notice that we're writing out the numbers without doing any rounding yet. We want to make sure we round at the end of the problem. So we'll do this subtraction. They'll cancel out on the right hand side. And then finally, if we divide both sides of this equation by 0 0.1101, we're going to be left with x, which was the atomic mass of the third isotope, and indeed will be the correct answer. So we have 25.9822752 AMU as equaling x. And we recall if we scroll back up here that the question wanted us to round our answer to using four significant figures. So four significant figures in this case would mean we would have to cut the number off right there. And the reason for that is because all of these non-zero digits are significant. And so we're going to have to round basically here to two decimal places. And to determine if the eight needs to be rounded up or remain the same, we simply look at the neighboring number, which is a two. And we know that as long as that number right there is less than 5, then we don't have to round that digit. So we're going to be left with 25.98 AMU as the final answer to this question. And so the key really was knowing the relationship between the atomic mass of the element and its isotopes and their mass. So this is the expression that you would really want to take away from this question here.